Hi, my name is Megan. I am a second year Culture Project missionary. I got to serve in the Diocese of Toledo for two years. And I joined the Culture Project really because I believe in the dignity of every single person. And for me, a huge thing is being pro-life and fighting for the rights of the pre-born. And in college, I saw this, but I really started to recognize, like, it's not enough just to know um, that the pre-born is a human being. Like, there were so many people that I would talk to where they'd be like, yeah, I get that but I'm still okay with abortion. And I started to realize we didn't necessarily so much have an issue with recognizing the dignity of the preborn, which is obviously an issue. I started realizing we had a deeper issue, that it was really a, 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 an issue of our identity, that people didn't know their goodness. And so how could they um, recognize the goodness and the dignity of other people if they couldn't recognize their own dignity and their own worthiness? And so I stepped into the Culture Project two years ago, ready to kind of talk about the dignity of the preborn, ready to talk about um, the richness of living a life of, of joy and virtue. And what I encountered were a lot of people who were just broken, like me, and wanted to find answers. And they wanted to know that they were good. And they wanted to know that they were worthy of love. And I'll never forget this last year, I actually met a girl um, at, a, at a talk and she, she was a former Planned Parenthood volunteer, and she was now pro-life. And she and I got to talking of like, how did you get here uh, at this pro-life talk? And you were a former Planned Parenthood worker. And what I heard from her heart was really um, the cry of all of our hearts, which is, I want to be loved and I want to love other people. And she just didn't know how. And so for many of us in the culture, like we have this desire, like we want to love other people and we want to be loved by other people, but we don't know how. And I think for the last like two years, that's really been the greatest joy of my life is telling other people like, this is how we can love and this is how we can be loved. And in return, I've learned uh, more greatly how to do that for myself as well. Thank you.